It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm back in the fight here. Now, I've said this before. The Nevada Athletic Commission, they're out of control. Now, here it is that I just find Conor McGregor, what, $150,000? Then 40 hours of community service. I'm like, hold on one second. Are you just. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, 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 that's kind of ridiculous. That's an outrageous fine. They were going to find John Jones and Daniel Kamir when they had the scuffle over two, 250000 each, the full fight purse. So I'm beginning to wonder if the Nevada Athletic Commission, they have some kind of budget shortage that they're trying to fill off the backs of these guys. Really, these fines are like spectacularly ridiculous. So what's going to happen now is that, hey, if you keep doing that to these fighters, you're gonna be you, you you're gonna lose you, you you you're gonna lose a good stream of revenue. Promoters are gonna start taking the, 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 the MMA event somewhere else. If you have a budget shortage, don't don't gouge the fighters. Yeah, they make the mistake, but are you really gonna overkill? I mean, that's, that's, that's what a hundred and fifty thousand dollar water bottle. Does that make any sense? No. When boxers have scuffles at their press conferences, I don't see nobody all over them like that. So I'm like, what's going on here? Is the Nevada Athletic Commission and they found a new source of revenue and they're like, hey, let's max this out. Let's get as much money as we can. If we can keep these fines high, that will set the expectation going forward as the sport gets bigger. We'll be able to charge more money. Huh? Then we can live off the fat of, 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 of all these fines. Ridiculous. So here's what's going to happen. Fighters are going to start refusing to fight there. And it's simple. This, that state is going to lose money. That's all that's going to happen. The events are going to be held somewhere else. So you're going to hurt yourself economically because you're being greedy and you're going overboard. Okay, you sus I, 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 I give you one, all right? You go ahead and you suspend Nate Diaz. Now, yeah, is it Nick? Yeah, you suspend Nick Diaz for like three years for some weed. But John Jones is okay because he was taking coke out of competition. You see how that works? He said Brock Lesnar could hold off on his drug test while he fight, fights Mark Hunt. See how that works? Anderson Silva got a, a year and something suspension for some kind of sex tablet he took. And then John Jones, he's getting a, a slight suspension. He, he'll be coming back soon. But they, 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 there is no rhyme or reason to the way they hand down these punishments. So to me, I think it's a budget gap they're trying to fix. It's your boy Superman 2000. And if, if, if the fighters don't want to fight in Nevada, I'm supporting them. Peace out. I gotta go cook dinner. It's family night.